Our team coverage continues this evening. County clerks saw voters through an election like we've never seen before, from mail-in votes to dealing with COVID-19 precautions. Bailey Stroll is live at the Greene County Clerk's headquarters. Bailey, what's the latest? Well, here at the Election Center on Boonville in Springfield, uh, it looks like everything's going as scheduled. I just spoke to, spoke with the Greene County Clerk Shane Scholler. He said and there were cars lined up uh, just a few minutes ago all the way through the parking lot of poll judges, election judges, making their way here to drop off the ballots at Election Center as they prepare to be tallied. But some of these precincts in Greene County are going to have to wait a little while longer. The clerk's office is going to have to wait a little while longer until they receive those. Shane Scholler is saying that there were uh, some exceptionally long lines in areas like Willard and Republic due to more more people taking advantage of curbside voting today than expected. He says there may even be some that are still casting a ballot tonight, and if not, uh, some of those precincts just now wrapping up. Now we've had two rounds of results already been released here in Greene County. The first was all the absentee ballots that were cast here at the election center before election day. The second are absentee ballots received by the clerk's office, and then now the third, the next, will be the first of tallied mail-in ballots across Greene County. He expects five or six rounds of results before tallying wraps up tonight, and he's hoping that's, that'll be around 1030 tonight. Now, we don't know about voter turnout at the moment, uh, in, in Greene County at least, but if you look at a state level, the Associated Press is expecting about 75% voter turnout here in Missouri, and if we get up to that number, we will be uh, that, that will be the highest turnout that we've seen since 78% voter turnout back in 1992. Reporting in Springfield, Bailey Stroll, Ozarks First.